What the fuck going on, man? It's Stand Up For Vegas, Big Four Times, The Rich Young, and I just jumped off the porch with DGB. I jumped off the porch a long time ago in real life, though. Hey, I pop a perk, it give me more stamina. Uh, I hit that net like an animal. Ooh, she ate that dick like a snack. Animal. All right, we got Stunner for Vegas off the porch with us today, man. How's it going, bro? What it do, bro? It's fun I'm doing time. well, man. Really Appreciate young. you coming here, man. Appreciate you for having me. Yeah, for sure. Zach told me to tell you when I came on here that I've been off the porch, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had him on here twice, man. So we're going to have to get you back on here soon, too. For sure. For uh, sure, for sure. 2019 has been your breakout year, man. Yeah. How would you describe how your 2019 has gone for you? Like, unexpected. Huh. Unexpected, for sure. Yeah. But it's a blessing. Hmm. You feel me? Baby told me that shit was going to happen. Yeah. Baby told me all that shit was, like, how it's going from everything that go. He, like, told me that was going to happen. Huh. And when did you start to believe him <laughs> that he was kind of right about it? I the animal did a million views. Huh, yeah. After the animal did a million views, I started like, I started like seeing money I ain't never seen, mm. feel me? Like, feel me, I knew it was like, I was like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, you feel me? I, I made a hundred racks before I signed a deal off uh -huh. shows and I ain't never dropped a tape. Oh shit. Like, you feel me, they was booking me straight off animal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Yeah. yeah. Right. So when I got down was seeing how I was doing, with no label behind me, it was just me, baby, and T G my manager. Yeah. Like, I, oh yeah. <laughs> it's really up. That nigga baby ain't just talking. You yeah. And that was that what, the beginning of the year or was that towards that was the like, end of two thousand eighteen? End of twenty eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Like shit started going crazy. Probably like the start of this year though. Yeah. Like around my birthday, January yeah. 1st. <clears throat> yep. I had got booked for a show in Raleigh and that was probably like the first show that was sold out like wall to wall. Mm. <laughs> wall to wall, like no stage in that bitch. I was in the crowd, everything. Huh. Like that shit was crazy. Yeah. But that's when I knew it was like going up too. Yeah. Cause I was getting booked for shows in North Carolina and all the shows were sold mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Is this something you can get used to now that you've done it for a whole year? Yeah, for sure. I'm already used to it. I ain't got, you feel me? Like, I got a crib that I ain't stayed in for a whole month straight. <laughs> Been on the road too much, huh? Yeah, you feel me? I, yeah. I got a crib that I stayed in. That, I mean, I bought a crib. I ain't stayed in it for a whole month yet. Yeah, yeah. And how has your life changed to your, like, these last 12 months, like you said, since animals hit a all million? All the way around. <laughs> all, like, shit, it just, it turned all the way around. Yeah. Before, before I was got down, you feel me? I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what I'd be doing. Like right now, if I wasn't rapping, I don't know what I'd be doing. Yeah, yeah, for no, that's sure, real. For sure. And I saw you recently just hit a million followers on IG too. Hey, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to touch an M now though. <laughs> yeah, that's a big milestone right there. Sure. Um, you performed here in Atlanta last night during the Kirk tour. Yeah. Um, how would you describe a stunning for Vegas performance for people who haven't seen you perform yet? Oh, it's rest. Yeah. You gonna love it though. If yeah. you if you don't like it, you you a fuck nigga, <laughs> or you, or you lame. You feel me? But everywhere I go, I feel like they love me. You feel me? I ain't never got into no altercation at no show. Oh no, hmm. it's nah. always been love. It's always been love. If it's if it been an altercation, it was provoked. It wasn't like during the show. Like mm. you feel me? It was probably some after. Mm. Dude, you feel me? It was, but it was never no. I always get love. Like, yeah. When I perform it, I go in the crowd. Every, oh, yeah. Like every show. Mm -hmm. Every show. Yeah, and it be love, though. It don't be nobody in there showing no type of hatred, you feel me? So, yeah. 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 But the Stunner for Vegas show is, is a show you don't want to miss for sure. Yeah. It's definitely a lot of energy in there. For um, sure. You seen it last night? Yeah, I saw it last you night. Yeah. Last <laughs> night. That shit was turned up to max, sold out too. Yeah, sold out for sure. Shout out to Baby. Yeah. What what song gets the best reaction um, out of your set these days? Animal for sure. Animal still? Yeah. Animal for sure. But like, it's songs that get as much, like, you feel me? Like, I got a uh, song from Big Four Times 2 called Double D's. Oh, yeah. That I was going to say. Yeah, you feel me? Them Baby. girls be throwing the bras up yeah, there. Yeah, and they, yeah. threw like, they threw like five last night in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even gonna lie though. Last year, when we was on the Baby on Baby tour mm -hmm. in Atlanta, I think I did that shit. I think they threw more than five bras. Yeah, I remember that seeing that video clip. Yeah, there was a yeah. bunch that they kept throwing up there yeah, the whole yeah. night and all. Yeah. 
Um, but, uh, <laughs> do you have a favorite city that you performed in so far? Have they all started to blend in together yet? <laughs> I, I can't. If, if I have a moment of like really had to pick, I'll say Dallas or Houston. Mm, It'll really? be between them two. Huh. Why Con those two? It's just been they lit. Love they love yeah. me. I was thinking about throwing my birthday bash out there. But oh, I, got, I got booked. But yeah. nah, they love me out in Texas. Yeah. Like they fought me hard. They show love. Yeah. Real love. Yeah. I think this is your third tour this year, right? Maybe fourth? Four. Fourth. It's fourth, right? Fourth, fourth, yeah. <laughs> For sure, the fourth. What do you like and what do you dislike about being on the road so much? Only thing I dislike is being away from my family. Like, okay. Yeah. I don't really, like when I go home and see everybody for a day or two, I'll be ready to get back on the road. <laughs> ready to get back to the money, huh? For sure. Yeah. Just get back on the road, period. You feel me? Like, that I like, I think doing that shit so much, hmm. like, that's my life, bro. You feel me? I don't yeah. want to do nothing else. Yeah. I can't go sit at the crib for a week. Huh. Like Thanksgiving, I think Thanksgiving week, we had that shit off. I was on the road every day still. Oh, like sure. calling my driver to take me somewhere. Like, <laughs> for real, for real. No cap. <laughs> what are some of the things you do like about being on the road? Man, meeting new people. Yeah. Seeing how much people fuck with me. Mm -hmm. Like knowing where I'm from. Like I know these people that fuck me don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. If they seen where I come from, like they be like, this shit crazy. They're, they're like, respect me more hmm. as an artist type shit. Hmm. Like, as a big artist, because I'm one of them for sure. Yeah, yeah. Show for sure. So have you started to see some hate from your hometown or has it, have they embraced your celebrity coming from there? Nah, they embraced, they yeah. love me. They love me in my city. Like, even niggas who didn't used to fuck me, fuck me. Huh. Like, fuck me hard too. Yeah. If there's some niggas don't, that, that don't fuck me, they ain't know what's going on. Yeah. They ain't gonna say nothing about it hmm. to me. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Has anyone uh, famous ever made it out your city, whether it was the NFL or rapping or anything? For sure. My cousin Keon Adams and my cousin Javon Hargrave, they both in the league now. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Javon be making noise. Yeah. What team do you play for? Steelers. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, you're currently working on your new project, uh, Rich Youngin. For sure. I'm glad you caught on. Yeah. I'm glad you caught on. How it's was this? Done. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, shit. You feel me? Now I'm working on my project after Rich Youngin. Oh, Young. shit. All right. Let's stick with Rich Youngin, though. You yeah, got to release? For sure. Yeah, we on Rich Youngin, like, because that's my, I, I think that's going to got done. It sound different from Big Four Times. Yeah, I was sure going to ask, how is it going to differ than your debut, Big Four Times? For sure, because uh, in Big Four Times, that shit old, though. Like, hmm. all them songs are old. Like yeah. even the like feature with Offset that was old. Hmm. I think the newest feature was the Dirt feature. Yeah. Like he did it as soon as he got out. Oh okay. Or before he went in, something like that. Yeah. But all the songs was old. You feel me? I was really tired of them songs. We played them out. Really. Tight <laughs> John, but Rich Young, it just it's like it's I'm popping a lot of shit in it. Huh. I pop shit in my music. Period. Though, yeah. You feel me? Like I don't. I don't. I don't consider my lane the same lane as other niggas. Hmm. You feel me? Like, I'll pop shit, bro. I can't just make a song. Hmm. Like, I can't just go in the studio and make a song. Like, <laughs> feel me? For real, for real. I gotta, it's gotta be something going on around. Like, you feel me? For me to go in the studio and rap. Ah, uh, okay. I gotta have something to rap about. I can't just go in that bitch and yeah. just be rapping. Yeah. You feel me? Type mm -hmm. shit. Yeah. How often do you hit the studio these days? A lot. A lot. Yeah. A lot. We're really not when I'm home, though, because uh, I ain't never home. And mm. then I got a portable studio. I just ain't brought it with me on the road. Okay. But um, for sure, when I go to L.A., that's all I do. Mm. L.A., New York, Miami. But I ain't been to Miami in a minute. But when I go to Miami, I, like, I crank out an album. You feel me? Like That's oh, what yeah. I do. Like When I went to L.A. Mm. for a week, like two weeks or three weeks ago, I made it real young. Yeah. And then finished it in uh, New York huh. a couple of weeks later. Okay. Like two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got a couple of new singles out right now. Let's we'll start with uh, Up to Smoke with Offset. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Shout out to Offset here, really. For sure. Yeah, that's what, going on Rich Younger, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's it like working with Offset? Because, like you mentioned, that's your second time working with him, right? Oh, uh, yeah. And now Up to Smoke was like my third time. Okay. But that was, that was my third time. That was my third song with him, but it was my first time in person. 
Oh, really? Okay. Me, yeah. The first two songs I sent to him, he just sent them back. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it was like, I seen him work with Baby before, you feel me? I seen him do his yeah. own shit before. Before we recorded, I was in, um, before we ever recorded, yeah, I was watching him uh, record the Father of Four. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's when me and Baby had, like, linked up with him when he was in the, like, process of dropping it. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. so. We pulled up on him one night, and you know, we were just listening to him work on that. He told me that first night I met him, like, that animal shit, crank. Huh. I, I'm, he's like, I'm trying to do a song with you, boy, with something like that. Yeah. I thought he just, talk, I thought he was playing, you <laughs> feel just... me? I gave my number, the nigga called me every day like he knew me, you feel me? Like, huh. to this day. Huh. Type shit, he a real nigga, for sure. Yeah, he seems to definitely fuck with you and the baby. Yeah, uh, for sure, for <laughs> sure. It's like, I get the same vibe in the studio, I, when I'm in the studio with baby. Really? Feel uh, me? Yeah. Like, yeah. Them two, the only niggas I can listen to in the studio huh. and be watching them be like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? You feel me? Like, <laughs> like it, it, that shit surprised me when I watched them. Okay. Yeah. Have you guys so, ever talked about doing a project together? You and Offset or you, Offset and the baby? Nah. I think, I think we should do some shit like all of us, though. Like me, Dunk, Baby, mm. Sit. Quavo, Take Off, Mango, okay. Merc. You feel uh, me? Cause we all like, we don't all been in the same vicinity plenty of times. Like yeah. when we get around each other, it'd be like family, you feel me? Like mm-hmm. it, it'd be like so, I don't know. It's like, we know them niggas. Hmm. But I think that should be hard if we did some big shit. Like yeah. a label, label tape. Like yeah. not just mm-hmm. me, baby, and set. Yeah. That should be harder if it was all of Yeah. I don't think I don't anyone's done nigga. something like that in a while, you know? Yeah, like ain't two nobody doing no shit like that in a minute. Yeah. That should be raw. That'd be a hard idea right there, yeah. should be raw. Yeah. Uh, you also worked with Yachty on uh, Boat for Vegas. Yeah, that's How'd you link up with time. Yachty? Um, I think we was in L.A. And um, I just hit him up, like, you like you in L.A. I seen him post it. I know he's in L.A. I'm like, he like, young. Hmm. pull up on me. And gave me his address. I was shooting a video though. As soon as I was done the video, I pulled up on him. We made like three songs. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. But both for Vegas was just the first one I dropped. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys got some more stashed. Yeah, up we got and... a song with Rollo Rodriguez. Oh shit. Okay. We got uh like two songs too that we made that night. We okay. made both for Vegas. Yeah. Will Boat for Vegas be on Rich Youngin, or was that just a loose? Nah, we, I just dropped it like cause Boat called me one day. I no, I posted a trailer. Huh. And both called me like, bro, drop that fucking song, bro. <laughs> I'm like, nah, let's do the video. And yeah. Bo was like, come on. But I was just on the road every day. You yeah. feel me? So as soon as I got a, like two, three days off, I came up here. Because there ain't nothing but a three-hour drive from the crib. Okay. Came up here, shot a video, went back home. Yeah. yeah. Type shit. Gotcha. Um, have you been working with any art, other artists that will be featured on uh, Rich Younger? Black Youngster. Black Youngster. For okay. Sure. Black Youngster. Um, what does that song sound like? That's got to be pretty turned up. Yeah, it's turned up. Is that it's a club like, song? Yeah, for sure. Okay. For sure. I think almost every song on my tape, though, is like, hmm. like on the way over here, I was just telling my people, like, if you listening, like, if you, I kind of made the list in the car yeah. and sent it to the label type shit. I'm like, if you listen uh-huh. to that shit, that shit, like, that shit raw. Like, if you listen to that shit, how I got it lined up. Hmm. Tell me that shit raw, bro. <laughs> That shit raw. Yeah. Do you think about your performances when you're recording these songs? Like, oh, I know this one's gonna go up, or you know. Nah, nah. I just, I just, you feel me? I just go. I just go. Yeah. I don't put too much thinking. Like, okay. Whatever got going on that day or that week, whatever I got, you feel me? I'm going in that bitch. I gotta hurry up and get that on the show huh. <laughs> before I forget. Or I have to goddamn something else happen, and I want to write about that. You feel me? Like, yeah. 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 All right, what about producers? What producers have you been working oh, with? I kept lately? it in the crib. Okay. I kept it in the crib. I got my boy Hollow. He from uh, Texas. Young nigga. It's straight young niggas. Uh, Hollow, he from Texas. Who else I got on there? Milan, he from California. Okay. Um, I got some uh, producers from I Got 20 on my beat. They okay. Like, that's yeah. some producers from mm-hmm. North Carolina. Yeah. I got first on there, Sean the first. He from North Carolina too. Okay. I met him through Baby. Hmm. Mm, that's it. And Create, my boy who made Animal. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Other than that, huh. I kept it in the crib. Oh, and Jetson. And Jetson, yeah. Oh, Bankroll got on tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping, bro. It's got them songs so new, but Bankroll got it. Shout out to Bankroll got it. No cap, because 
Oh, you just recorded one to him? No, nah, I record like four of them bitches. Oh, okay. I would okay. play songs on the tape with them songs. <laughs> hey, I was trying to get with them. I kept hearing them. That paint roll got on people's shit. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when I hear it, I got down want to rap on them people's songs. Oh, really? <laughs> so I'm like, shit. I got told my people from the label, Barreline. Hey, let's go, my shit. Tell them people, people pull up on me. <laughs> they pulled up. They was, well, was white boys. No offense, you feel me? Yeah. I fuck with a white boy. Yeah. But I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> he wasn't expecting that, huh? Bruh, and they niggas ain't even cook shit up, but they just said, they crunched some shit out. I'm like, man, put that shit on there. Put that shit on there. <laughs> put that shit on there. For sure, like, a shout out to them. Cause I got, I think uh, one of the songs on there, I'm gonna make my like focus track too. And it's oh, really? produced by them, yeah. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask, do you have a personal favorite song on this project that fans should look out for? Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. Yeah. I got Jesse Made on there too though. I got okay. one with Jesse Made on there too. Okay, that's what's up. Some different shit. Really? Yeah, huh. I probably put no cap on the song. Hmm. That'd be hard right there. For sure. Yeah. All right. I gotta ask you about the video for Ashley. How much fun was it shooting that one? Too much fun. <laughs> Every video shoot that baby set up for me be fun as hell. You hmm. But every video shoot I have, period, fun. Yeah. Because I'm just like, boom, bro. You put a camera in front of me, I'm going to go off. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? I want the world to see what I got going on. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't no goddamn shy ass nigga either. Nah. Man. It's, <clears throat> I ain't no fake ass nigga either. You feel me? Like, yeah. same stunner you see in that video, you're going to get right here. Touch. Yeah. Yeah, when I interviewed the baby back in uh, February, he said that was one of the things that really sold him on you was, just put a camera on you and your personality is just going to shine through. Oh, yeah, he said that. Yeah, he said that he, back, but he back gave, in he February. Gave me that, he gave me that, like, he gave me that that thought, though, Tyson. Huh. He told me that when I got down, when I first used to get around him. Like, when yeah. I used to get around him, he used to got them, feel me, like, talk serious as hell and <laughs> shit. I'd be, like, laughing, like, man, bro, that nigga <laughs> serious as hell, bro, shut up. He used to be, like, for real, though, like, like telling me, like, shit, bro. I just tell him, uh, my people's that like, he had seen a post of me on Instagram performing at uh, a NBA player. He from other uh, Carolinas, Winston Salem, Harry Giles. He had a birthday party. He invited me to come perform, and I was like in the middle of the crowd, like I do at the shows we got now. And this show, and this show was packed because it was an NBA player's birthday party. Yeah. But you feel me, like me, I bought like me and like fifty people from Salisbury. Huh. Got down. You feel me? I'm in the middle of the crowd, like. Starting a marshmallow, like, get my space, get my space. You feel me? Like, <laughs> make a circle in this bitch. Yeah. Shit. Baby was telling me, like, bro, you don't know that shit you're doing. Like, that shit'll make you rich oh, yeah. forever, bro. Like, yeah. Like, he used to get so serious anytime I got one. I'm be like, bro, baby, like, chill, nigga, <laughs> hi. But then, look, that shit start happening to him, and I'm watching that shit, like, oh, hmm. shit, that nigga not playing. Yeah. You feel me? I got down and start working more. I started got down, get booked more. I started doing more features. I was like, I started seeing shit too. Like, when I went to Toronto and I was getting as much love as baby, you feel oh, me? Oh, like, shit, yeah. So I'm like, damn. But I, I started taking shit way more serious before that, you feel me? Yeah. It was just like, that was just something that got down, made my, my eyes open like, damn, hmm. what the fuck? Yeah. Like, they out there, like, four times, all huh. types of people, like, <laughs> Say it four times, no cap. Yeah, yeah. And what's it like working with the real goats? Fun as fuck. Yeah. Fun as fuck. <laughs> Are you very hands-on with your music videos with them? Yeah. yeah. Like, Ashley, Ashley, Baby, and Rico came up with that. Okay. Like, whatever. But... Double D's, hmm. baby came up with that concept. Like okay. he was like me, like meet me at the office, bro, on Monday. Hmm. And that's like rare, bro. You feel me? Cause that nigga is a busy man, bro. Yeah. So you feel me? He take time out of his day. Like, bro, meet me at the office. I come up there, he got his iPad set out huh. with like the music video. Like, he like, so this how you gonna start it. <laughs> this how you gonna got down, da da da. He like, I, I got them got stuck right here. I'm going to got them finish it by the morning, you feel me? Like, huh. He in there doing what the real ghosts do, you feel me? Yeah. Like, like yeah. real CEO shit for real. Let me get another lighter, bro. Yeah. But yes. but the real ghosts, that shit, like, you can't take nothing from them. You feel yeah. Me? Like, 
They got their own style too. Yeah. But you put real ghost and baby in the same equation, that shit make, make Ashley. Mm -hmm. And double D. Yeah. And, yeah. and like even the video we just we just shot alone. Mm -hmm. I just dropped that now too on YouTube. I, I'm good, bro. Yeah. He shot that. Uh, Rico shot that himself. Hmm. Rico shot like when we shot Ashley and Double D's. Rico shot it hands on, hmm. but then other people had shot it with like big equipment and shit that they oh, spent okay. hella money on. Yeah. And like, but we shot that long video. That was just him shooting it. Yeah, like. Hmm. Rico in, in Rico mode type shit, you <laughs> feel me? I like shooting videos like that though. Yeah. Okay. But I know the Ashley and Double D's, that scenery and that, like coming to the music videos with a concept. Yeah. Me, make, like, you feel me? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But nah, Rico, Real Goat, Spicy, Bravo, all them, like. Yeah, they on fire right now. It's sure. like anything they drop with you guys is just instant million, you know, within the first day, it seems yeah, like. Yeah, for sure, know? for sure. Yeah. So, uh, for sure. I'm trying right, to get my cameraman to start shooting videos. Yeah. Who you got, Gemini? Is that nah, your guy? Or? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Bravo. The photo, oh, okay, okay. The photo Falcon on Instagram. Okay. Nigga think he a rapper. Hmm. I don't think he want to shoot videos. He just like doing vlogs and taking pictures. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, the North Carolina music scene has been on fire this year. For sure. Um, why do you think it took so long for people outside of North Carolina to catch on to what you guys were putting out? I don't know. I don't know, bro. Okay, after going to every state, <laughs> man, never mind. But I don't know. <laughs> but after, you feel me? I just like, you feel me? Carolina, North Carolina, even South Carolina, bro, yeah. like, them states ain't no states to play with, bro. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. For sure. No matter what, like, pussy ass shit go on, like, no matter how much niggas hate each other or whatever, hmm. like, the Carolinas ain't, you feel me? Like, look what just happened in the Carolinas. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta be set. You gotta be careful out there, you know. You gotta be careful out there, cause the Carolina's already pissed off about being slept on. You yeah. feel me? Mm -hmm. They they don't like that. I'm telling you, even the motherfuckers that don't rap, it's motherfuckers that feel like Baby should have been on yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Yeah. yeah, like it's it's motherfuckers that feel like I should have been on. It's people that got like other cities in Greensboro that got shit going on that just ain't big as what we got going on yet. You feel me? That's on the rise though. Yeah. SMG picking them up though. Oh yeah. SMG yeah. picking them up. Like uh Mally. Okay. Have yeah, I just her? saw that. Yeah. Big Mally. Mm -hmm. She raw. Yeah. Yeah. She raw. She from the um, I don't know what part of Carolina she's from though. I think Raleigh or Dern. Okay. She raw. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's well known that the baby signed you after you paid for a feature. Yeah. Um, but what did you see in the baby back then to make you come out of your pocket and pay him for a feature though? I just knew, like, I knew that nigga was like, I ain't, you feel me? I ain't saying that, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I just knew, like, I was like, this, I gotta do this, bro. Hmm. I gotta do this. Like, fuck it, I gotta do this. <laughs> Cause I really ain't want to. Cause, no. bro, like, this, all this nigga used to say on Instagram. Man, you know, Carolina niggas can't rap, man. <laughs> But a nigga hop on Instagram to make a post like, hey man, it's the baby, I'll be at this state, da 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 this, da da. And in it like, man, you know Carolina niggas suck at rapping, dog. <laughs> Hang that shit up. <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's the only nigga that got the, the face, like he was the face, you feel me? But yeah. like shit, it was probably shit he had going on with, I don't know, but like, hmm. baby a real nigga. Yeah. And then a genuine nigga at that, you feel me? Like, and I had never met him. I had just seen him at like a show, hmm. a showcase. Him and his team had walked through with like poster boards and shit, like how everybody already know. Yeah. But it was my first time seeing it in person. It was like in a little um little lounge. Hmm. I had won the showcase too, but baby left, you feel me? Really? He didn't get to see my performance. <laughs> huh. But I had did what I always done, you feel me? Like, hmm. like what I do today at that performance type shit. Yeah. But when I seen how baby came in there, nigga ain't even performed, he just came in there like, huh. feel me? Like, Show this shit off, like, I'm like, oh, that's how niggas supposed to be moving. Like, huh. Type shit. I'm like, that's what niggas supposed to be doing. We just ain't had shit going on, like, hmm. yeah. at all. But for sure, <laughs> bro, real nigga. Yeah. Bro, real nigga. When I made the song with him, I, I wanted to make the song with him, though, just because I had started fucking with his music. Like, I really ain't really listened to nothing a lot, hmm. like, other than the ones that was going crazy on YouTube. Yeah. But when he dropped the uh, Up The Street video. Okay. Yeah. And I think it was Baby, is that the one Baby Talk 5 on? Hmm. Baby Talk 5, 
like what like set bro on fire in North Carolina. I saw listen to his tape. I'm like, damn. Hmm. I gotta do a song with this nigga. Like, hmm. cause I had people like trying to help me too, like pay for a feature. They like, get a feature with all this, that, that. I'm like, nah, oh, sure. I'm gonna do that shit with baby, bro. Like, huh. And then one of my partners, like, he back there, he like, hell yeah, we gotta do that shit with baby. For hmm. sure. Like. Yeah. yeah, and I hit him up. When I hit him up though, I didn't think he was gonna like respond how he responded either, you feel me? Like, hmm. so I know a real nigga, you feel me? It ain't hard to tell. Hmm. So boom, when he hit me back, I'm like, oh yeah. Boom. We did a song in a studio, goddamn. We vibed out, it wasn't no goddamn rapper shit going on, you feel me? It was like, I'm in this bitch with a nigga. That's a real street nigga, basically. Yeah. Not a rapper. Oh, I don't want to say real street nigga, but like, he's not a rap nigga, you feel <laughs> me? Like, yeah. He ain't what you see on Instagram every day. Huh. Yeah. Or like, not on the bullshit side. Like, I don't know how to explain, baby, bro. You just, you feel me? You got to get around that nigga. Mm -hmm. You get around that nigga, you can tell you a real nigga. You can tell you a real nigga from Instagram, though. Yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safe to say, that was good investment, though. <laughs> Whatever you did pay for the feature, you know? It was like, it was two racks. For two sure. racks, yeah. It was two bands. <laughs> it was two Looking bands. back on it, yeah, that's a very good investment. I bet, I bet, though, at the time, baby probably had done a couple features and he probably made like 50 bands. I was doing features for two bands, you feel me? Huh. And he did, I think he did everything for me, like the video and all that. It was like two straight. Hmm. He put up in Salisbury by himself, did a video, all that. Like, oh shit. Huh. And when we did a video, that's when he told me, like, I got something for you, bro. Huh. When he said that, I'm like, this nigga about to give me a chain. I started telling my nigga, I'm like, nigga say he got something for me, but nigga about to give me an SMG chain. Like, I ain't know what the fuck was going on though, bro. You feel me? I ain't know what was going on. That nigga had picked me up from Salisbury one day couple of days later and brought me to Charlotte. Hmm. Like we was in the studio and shit. That's yeah. probably when we made fan or something. Oh really? Yeah, huh. but it was like every time I it was like every time I had got with him, like him he took me to Dallas. Like he took me to Dallas. That was probably like the first big show I ever did. Hmm. Cause it was sold out for him. Like Dallas, Texas, this they was fucking with baby hard. Like yeah. he put them on to me, Texas, like hmm. the whole market. He put them on to me for sure. Yeah. But um like when he took me out there, that's when we like got niggas got close, you feel me? Cause we was like away from everybody. It was like me, him, and TG. Uh -huh. Literally. I'm out here with these two niggas. Hmm. And goddamn, it made me goddamn adapt quick though. Like yeah. they they taught me how to adapt hmm. quick. So like shit I ain't know already. I learned from them too for sure. Hmm. Like, shit. like big brothers that I need. Yeah. Yeah. How I Cause I don't got no niggas that I hung around they age. I got older bros though. Huh. Know. Okay. And I ain't got nothing they age. Yeah. And how would you describe your two chemistry when you're recording together now? Easy. Hmm. It's fun too though. It's like it's like that. Yeah. And it been like that from the jump. Really? Okay. Since animal. Hmm. Like when I recorded my verse, recorded his verse, he came out of the studio, listened to that bitch, we was like, oh my God. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah, so you both knew that was going to be a hit right then and there. Mm -hmm. huh? Four times too. Like I think we made, yeah. we might have made four times. I don't know which one we made next. Four times or fan freestyle. Hmm. Fan freestyle is big as fuck on YouTube, but yeah. it ain't get put out on no streaming service. Yeah. So I don't think everybody know about it as much as they should. But um, when we made them too, we you feel me? It was just like boom, boom, boom. Hmm. It's like. Damn, bro, this shit easy. <laughs> this shit easy, for yeah. sure. Have you we two made Ashley on the tour bus. Really? Moving huh. and all. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> that shit sounds so hard. Yeah. Have you two talked about doing a collab project together? Before I was going to drop Rich Youngin, yeah. he was basically saying, let's drop a tape. Huh. But then I was like, I want to try to drop one more time and got down, see what I can do. Okay. First. Cause I know if I drop a tape with baby, that shit's gonna take me all the way through the door. Easy. Yeah, easy, all the way through the door, easy oh, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. But I want to see exactly what I can do. You feel me? Like, and I know the music that I got on Rich Youngin, it got down. You feel me? Hmm. I know what's going on. Yeah, I know what my people want to hear. I know what people want to hear. Period. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. And I'm popping shit the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Big money shit for sure. 
And the baby has really let you get your own shine, you know. He has never really kind of like little brothered you or anything like that. Yeah, nah. Because you saw you go on your own tour too, right after the baby on baby tour. He set that up. Huh. He set that up after the first date. He came backstage. He like, I'm proud of you, nigga. You like, I told you, you was a rock star. Hmm. You got your own tour. Huh. I'm like, man, nigga, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> after his tour was ended, bro, because of his tour. That shit, like, they kept adding dates. <laughs> they probably, I don't know how many dates we did on that shit, but I swear to God. Yeah. But after it finally ended, I got like a month off and went on tour. Hmm. Yeah. Went on tour. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have plans to start your own label one day? For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. What would you call it? Would it be big four times or? Yeah, I don't, I don't and like it'll be something like that because I already got an LLC, like, you know, okay. like it's big four times music group type shit. But okay. I got bros, like I got brothers who I want to see yeah. do the same shit I'm doing. And they hard, you feel me? Yeah. From Salisbury and all, like, they raw as fuck, just like me. Like, hmm. Salisbury got a lot of um, talent, period, though, like not just me. Yeah. Hmm. Like, as far as singing, rapping, all that shit. Oh, yeah. But yeah, for sure. Okay. So, all right. Uh, what are some of your goals for 2020? I gotta go gold or platinum for sure. Yeah. I, I want to touch more than an M. So, huh. <laughs> I'm gonna drop four albums this year too. 2020, I'm gonna drop four. Four times. albums. I'm gonna drop four times just because I bullshit it after I drop big four times. Huh. Will Rich Young and drop this year, or will that be uh, top of next year? No, it's gonna be it's gonna be the top of 2020. Okay. Okay, so that'll be the first one to kick it off then. Yeah, huh? okay. the first one. Yeah. And then I might drop again on Valentine's Day. Hmm, so next month. <laughs> I ain't, ain't playing, play. bro. <laughs> I ain't playing either. How many unreleased songs you say you're sitting on right now? Too many. Too many? Yeah. Time Over to get 200. Out. Over 200. You, For sure. Have you started to get tired of them like you did with the, <laughs> the songs on Big Four Time before you even released them? Nah. Not yet. Man, some songs, I don't know. Like, I got so much music, bro. When I back, made the track list for Big Four Times, I was rushing it. Like, uh, I, I missed out on some songs that I should have put on there. Hmm, okay. That's going to drop in 2020, you feel okay. me? Okay. Like, I'm going to drop all the music that I got. I ain't going to do all that weird shit. Like, okay. Yeah. But unless I don't really want to drop it. But I got a lot of music that I love still. Like, hmm. feel me? So yeah. I'm going to drop but yeah. We're jungle hard, bro. Hmm. Was young, that shit hard. Yeah, I think fans are ready for it. That shit hard. I yeah. don't think they're ready for it enough. Not yet, no? Nah. <laughs> I don't think they're ready for it enough. All right. Um, were there any goals? Cause they don't show me. That's why I said that. Hmm. They don't show me. Hmm. That's why we got to drop this interview quick. Okay. We'll get on their ass with this. Was young and <laughs> is dropping top of 2020. We telling you here this. Oh, dirty glove bastards, you stupid bastards. Tune in, I'm the hottest younger doing this shit, for sure, for sure. Were there any goals you didn't hit in 2019? Or did you hit all of your goals that you set out at the beginning of the year? I ain't touch a meal. Hmm. I damn sure got damn ran through that bitch though, like, <laughs> but I ain't sit on it, you feel me? Yeah. But I damn sure got down, yeah, I made it for sure. Hmm. I had to, I know yeah. I did. Yeah, that's crazy, crazy. No, I did. I did I, bro? I did, right? For sure. <laughs> I have no idea, bro. I mean, four tours, you, you know? Yeah. From show money alone, it should be pretty close. You know? But right, I do stop. shows. Like, I now do shows like I'm on tour. You feel me? Like, I I can have, like, we can be on Kurt tour. Like, mm -hmm. this just happened this week. Literally. Yeah, I saw you were in Missouri, I think, on yeah. Saturday. Yeah, and I was in, I don't know where I was before that. But, like, yeah, yeah you see how that goes. Like, mm-hmm. Show. Yeah. I fuck with Don't you. Don't turn you down attention. no bags, man. You I know? fuck with you. You pay attention, bro. I fuck with that. Yeah. Nah, you know, the Kirk tour is going to sell out regardless. So if there's yeah, an extra God. bag for you to go, go get, get that bitch. I'll need to go get that bitch for tell real. Yeah, baby, I think, tell me that, though, too. You feel me? The baby be on that tight time. Like, yeah. baby want me to got down. He want me to, he don't want me to, he want me to, because I done passed a lot of steps that he had to take. You feel me? Oh, he, yeah. Mm -hmm. He don't want me to miss out on shit that I'm supposed to see. Like I'm supposed to go like well that Missouri show only had like a hundred people in it. Yeah. Hmm. Venue was like big as this. Oh shit, sure. just a club. You feel me? Yeah. Like yeah. But they all in that bitch show love. I walked through in that bitch and got in their face. Huh. Like they show love type shit. Yeah, that But like that was Kenneth, Missouri, bro. Huh. You never been there. No. 
<laughs> and that'll make them fans for life too, you know, for to sure. have that close interaction. Sure. They probably them. all follow me on Instagram right now. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All a hundred of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. For sure. <laughs> all right, Stunner, what else you got coming, man? Um, man, I got videos on the way. I got like, I got videos put up that I might drop before the year over with. Okay. Like I got a couple videos pull up, put up. Hard shit. It ain't gonna be on Rich Young. It's just music that I had recorded. I want to drop. Okay. Feel me? But I'm focused on on making Rich Young go big. I hmm. like go big, big. Yeah. Big, big. For sure. And you they, say cause they missed out on big four times. Yeah. And they you say you already got the single picked out. The next single picked out for Rich the Young. Next single. Yeah. I got it, but I don't want to say it. Okay. Because I don't want it to be something different when it drops. So okay. I'll, I'll let you hear some of it, though, for sure. Before, okay. Before we get out of here, I'll yeah. let you hear that shit crank. You think that'll drop before the year, or it'll drop closer to the album in January? The single? Yeah. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, like I say, I'm glad I met you, bro, because now we got it. You feel me? I'm going to let you know this shit. Yeah. Like, not on camera, but I'm going to let you know this yeah, yeah. shit. For, for sure. sure. For sure. For sure, for sure. All right. All right so Zach told me you was the like, we were stand up nigga. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me and Zach go back. Yeah. Sure. Before he even signed with uh, S- S- SMG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, Stunner, anything else you want to add? Shit, man. Nah, man. I'm just in the streets out of Jungle. I'm the rich Jungle. Rich Jungle dropping top of 2020. I ain't got no date yet, but when it dropped, I'm gonna drop my nuts. Hmm. For sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. But nah, man. This being Dollar Baby Zone in Salisbury, North Carolina. Ain't that nigga down there with this shit on. Hmm. Can't even go to no mall and see no shit like this down there. Nah, hell no. You can't even go down, you can't even go down there, bitch, and see no fake jewelry stuff. How long did it take to for did you get that from Johnny? Uh I got some of my jewelry from Johnny, some of my jewelry from Eden. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but uh, the, the watch from me. Yeah. The bracelet, the rest of this shit from Johnny, though. Hmm. How long it took Johnny to put everything together? Oh, and Ali. Ali made this piece, though. Huh. Ali is really, he from, he from uh, Winston-Salem. Okay. He ain't from Washington. He from North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. yeah he made this piece. Um, the rest of my shit, I like the chain. And I got some... Some big shit on the way. You I'm about to call the way? nigga Johnny and tell him to stop posting the goddamn. <laughs> but yeah, I got some shit. Johnny got some. He, he making me a new piece. Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring it out when I drop Rich Young. Oh, there you show. go. There you go. He knows what's going on. That nigga looking at me like, damn, this young nigga about to about to. About to... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it's that one, bro. It's that one. It's the piece I should have got a minute ago. Huh? <laughs> I could have. I could have got. You feel me, nigga? Bigger shit than this. I just didn't look at it as it was something. Yeah, next thing you know, you did 30 more shows. Like, damn, could have got a big piece. <laughs> Hell nah, I could have got them. I could have did that shit off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> I just ain't do it. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I ain't get no watch or nothing off, like, you feel me? Hmm. I ain't get no watch or nothing. When I first got my first piece of jewelry I got was a ring. I gave the ring away to one of my brothers. Oh, yeah. I got that from Johnny. Hmm. Uh, in this chain. And my teeth. I ain't getting no watch or nothing. One day, baby bought me 20 racks because it was like for front ends Mm. on shows. And I went and bought a watch. Oh, there you go. (laughs) Fuck it. Why not? (laughs) For sure. I did it twice. No cap. That's it. And they both big 41s. They're not the little um, 36 centimeter, millimeter. It ain't the (laughs) little one. You feel me? the big boy one. Yeah, 41. <laughs> For sure. That's why I call myself Big 41. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. I, right. Ain't nobody buy my watch. Yeah. I am not stressing you. Give me your face. I don't want the rest of you. Give me the top. I bop. Got bop on my sketch. We like 500 bows ahead of you. Try out. Send the Eddie. We send him.